Russell of the 8th Congressional District is here live with us. Thank you so much, Congressman, for coming in to and Action 2 News this morning. Good morning. It's good to be here. A Great. lot of issues to talk about. There are. I'm going to start with a, a bill you're involved with sponsoring uh, to help the Bay. There's been issues with phosphorus issues, uh, yeah. runoff from farms and, and dead zones in the water of the Bay. Fish die off uh, as a result. Tell us about this bill you're involved with. It's Great Lakes Assurance Program Verification Act. What will that do? Yeah, this, this bill was uh, originally drafted by one of my colleagues from Michigan, and they're, they're seeing the same thing in their borders along the, along the Great Lakes. And, and basically, it would, it would shift some money out of a, a U.S. Department of Agriculture program called EQIP mm -hmm. to, to allow us to apply it toward conservation, uh, environmental practices, and to basically help assist farmers and train them uh, to um, reduce the amount of phosphorus that's flowing into our waterways. Is it, is it an education issue with farmers in part to, to teach them uh, other ways to do this to keep the phosphorus out? It is. You know, farmers are pretty traditional, they, and, and in Wisconsin in particular, this has been going on 100, uh, 100 years or more, and, and folks uh, have used practices that their grandfather and great-grandfather used, and, and now we're saying, you know what, there's some better ways to do this to reduce the, the fact that we're getting some manure getting into the waterways. We want to try to stop that. So this will help with some grants that could be provided to the area. Uh, those grants could to, be used to in individual farmers, to okay. counties, uh, county conservationists, and things like that. Where's this bill at right now? Well, right now there's about 15 to 17 co-sponsors at it, but we recognize that the Great Lakes being completely regional. I mean, there's 1,300 miles of international border in the Great Lakes, so it's a true federal interest. Uh, other members from along these border states uh, on, on the Great Lakes continue to co-sponsor, and we believe that things will happen pretty quickly now. All right. Thanks, Congressman Rue. We also want to talk with you about Veterans Affairs. Medical facilities for veterans have been under some scrutiny recently. You've been working with the new VA outpatient yeah. clinic in Green Bay. Uh, it opened two years ago this month. You asked the vet VA secretary in February to look into how the services are being provided there. Have things changed? Have things improved since they you have, did that? They've gotten better, and I've been pleased we got a response from the secretary in about three weeks after we wrote that letter, uh, assuring us that they would begin doing surgeries by sometime during the summer, and that's actually happened over there. And so uh, things are progressing nicely at the VA center in Green Bay. Uh, we just need to make sure that we provide the VA the necessary tools to hold administrators accountable throughout the country so that the, the promises that we've made to our veterans are kept. We have so many veterans in Northeast Wisconsin. Uh, uh, we want to be looking out for them. We thank you for the work you've done for them and appreciate you coming in and it's talking to us this here. 